good morning, good morning. Let me uh, flip ya. Right back there. That's where I camped last night. Right there. Um, yeah, up ahead here. Hey, let me flip you one more time. This is a trail and you can see behind those green, that's where all the fire is, so. So yeah, I had a fairly, I felt safe spot last night from these fire trees up here. Um, but I kept waking up last night. Oh my gosh. When you'd wake up and you'd lay in your tent, you could hear bark falling off the trees and sometimes sticks. And um, Yeah. Uh, had a great breeze, man. It's an awesome breeze. And it's an awesome breeze right now going through my tent. I even climbed in my sleeping bag last night and just kept letting the breeze come through. But, uh, but yeah, we're in this fire area. And it's going to get worse as we get up into work. And even in... I got the feeling even in Washington, because right now in Oregon, there's fires going on. So I think down the trail, we're actually going to be going through fire areas where there was a fire a few, you know, just recently. So anyway, that's down the trail. So, um, yeah, so today, let me see what we got going on. It's going to be like a roller coaster day, it looks like, ups and downs. Uh, and uh, just upsies and downsies. Um we got something special in 15 miles stay tuned for that uh 23 miles out we got highway 36 so other than that uh i don't think there's as many water crossings today as there was yesterday but there's many many water crossings today um but yeah other than that just gonna jimmy and jam and rock and roll man and bring you all the cool stuff that I can find on the trail. All right, holler at you later. All righty, 6,755 elevation. We are dropping just a little bit since camp. Got the shades on, sun's coming out. Still got a good breeze. Let me flip you. A lot of green down there, so that's cool. Mountains back there. So yeah, jamming and jamming, and you know it, rocking and rolling. All right. We're at 6,286. We are dropping. Um, we got a storm brewing in. Looking for a breeze. Yeah, we got a storm coming in. Um, but yeah, uh, I did stop for water. Um, from camp, 20 miles from out from camp this morning, there was five water sources. And the first two, if not three, are like downhill at the bottom of a hill. The one I stopped at, Robert, 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 I don't know, some spring, uh, it was 0.3 at the bottom of a hill, but I did fill up two liters. Um, like I said, there's only like five water sources in 20 miles from camp last night. So, uh, we're doing good. So, Keep an eye on this weather. Um, but yeah, jimmying and jamming, rocking and rolling. Hey, hey, all right. A little 6,447. Check this out. I don't know if it, I don't think it's a storm. I think it's from some of the forest fires in the area. But let me flip you. I 
I think that's from some of the forest fires in the area because it's just like that little patch right there. So uh, let me flip you one more time. You can see mountains. That mountains off over there. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's just from smoke from the fires maybe in the area. I don't know. I'm not a weather guy. But other than that, everything's clear. Let me flip it one more time. It's just that little spot. So yeah. Alright, Jimmy and Jammin, rocking and Seven thousand and eleven. Told you this morning gonna be a roller coaster of a day. Yeah, uh, these dark clouds. These are from fires. Um, I know when I was hiking, I could see some ash. It looked like ash kind of falling. So. Is that or snow? One of two, but I doubt the snow. So, but yeah, Jimmy and Jamming, rocking and rolling. <laughs> And 224 elevation. Check this out. Yeah, buddy, halfway, halfway on the Pacific Crest Trail. Whew. Yeah, I'm still having some ash fall from the sky, but yeah, halfway. Started May 5th, made it halfway, so crazy to think man halfway to Canada so alrighty we're trucking right along today so alrighty I'll holler at you later How's it going? Oh, I got a few mosquitoes here at this spot. Um, 27 mile day. It is late. It's 820. It is late. Uh, we're camping at 5,656. 56, 56 elevation, man. I think it's in that. Um, let me flip you. Yeah. I got to get that done yet. Uh, let me flip you again. So, yeah, I got a pond. That's why I have mosquitoes. There is another tent down there. So, yeah, um, we got down to the highway, and uh, I decided to go into town and get a burger. It was a five-minute hitch. Boom, was in town. Got a burger, some french fries, ice cream cone. I knew that there was a bus that cost two bucks that could take me back to the trailhead at 630. So, I knew if I'd get in there, you know, around four, I can get a burger, ice cream cone, and uh, soda, and then get back out on the trail. Um... Did hit a halfway point, so great deal there. Um, all this smoke and ash that I've had today, it's from a park, they call it the park fire. It started up within 24 hours ago. I hear, I hear it's arson, but it's hard to say, but there hasn't been any thunderstorms out here, so I'm not sure what else it could be. Um, yeah, so the trail went is going through private property, and I don't really know where, I know where it started, but I don't know where the private property stops at. And there's no camping on it, but you can camp on the port on the forest roads or on the side of the forest road. So it does not look like this road is well traveled, so it looks like a good spot to camp tonight. Uh, I did pass a couple other forest roads to get here, and they look like they've been traveled on. So 
Um, I did fill up all four of my water bottles before I left town. So I've been lugging four liters of water. And I have a pond here, but at least I can go clean my feet tonight before I go to bed. Uh, even though if it's going to get dark. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to blab. There's a lot of hikers in town have pulled off to, I don't know if they're, if they're afraid of the smoke. I'd have no clue. I did have one young hiker come up to me at the restaurant. And he asked me what my plans were because of the smoke and the ash. And I said, I'm just going to keep marching north. You know, when I started this trip, this journey, I knew that, number one, I was going to have desert heat with a little water. Number two, I knew I was going to have snow in the Sierras. Number three, I knew I was going to have forest fires. And number four, I got to get to Canada before the snow falls. So I'm um, kind of surprised him. I said, I'm going to keep pushing north because, I mean, what else do you do? I mean, I mean I've mean, i gone halfway. I'm not packing my bags and going home. So, And I'm not skipping. I'll walk the highway before I skip. So anyway, oh, but good day, man. I mean, it really was. We just, I, mean, I didn't stop to take a break this morning. But man, I was just pounding the miles down and, um, after halfway point, we dropped from the halfway point to the road. We dropped down like 4,000 elevation around 4,000. Then we climbed, you know, so it's pretty much straight shot down. So, but yeah, I'm going to stop blabbing, get my stuff together and holler at you in the morning.